Hey guys, good Wednesday morning to all of you. Drew and I are getting ready to go do some tree cleanup for Jim Pierce that we did some uh, tree cutting for right before I went on that cruise. Got everything loaded up here. Got the Vermeer CTX 100. Got the Vermeer SC362 stump grinder. I've got to uh, grind some root systems for Jim. He actually uh, hurt his ankle on one. It tripped him here a few uh, months ago, I believe he said. So, Jim, we're on our way. We're going to get all that stuff taken care of for you. Stay tuned, everybody. So this pump here looks like it's going to shut me off at 100. And over here on this one, 74. Nearly $200 in fuel this morning. <laughs> Drew said we still like a quarter tank over there in that second tank, but hey, that's enough. And that's just the way it is, and that's part of the deal. So let's get to work. Guys, so guys, I'm over here at Jim Peart's house now. And right here, it may not look like much stump work is right here on this ground, but this troublesome root system right here actually caused Jim a lot of trouble here a few months ago. He twisted his ankle pretty bad right here, out here working with his horse. Um, I went ahead and taken the orange landscaping paint and marked all the areas real quick that we've got to skim with a stump grinder. I'll flip around and show you guys exactly what I'm about to do. So, as you can see, you know, if, you, if I hadn't spray painted those, you may not notice them, but everywhere you see that orange paint, there's a root runner coming from an old tree that was right there. I could have only imagined how large that tree was, so I'm getting ready to unload the stump grinder now, and we're getting ready to take care of every bit of this for him. And right now, Drew is back there with the Vermeer CTX 100, cleaning up all those limbs that we cut the other day before I left. So stay tuned, and you guys will get to see all that as well here shortly. Okay guys, I just got finished grinding all these roots over here. I'm getting ready to get the rake out of my van and rake it all back down nice and neat. My main man Hunter Longley's over here right now. We're loading the stump grinder back on the trailer, hooking it back to Hunter's truck, and he's getting ready. I'm just running under that green one right there. And he's getting ready to go grind some stumps at some church here in Cleveland, right? Yes, First Presbyterian. First Presbyterian, so. They said they wanted stumps ground at a church. They wouldn't let me come do them. Man. They said they wanted Hunter. <laughs> they won't let me do a church job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, guys, stay tuned. I'll show you what that looks like after I get it raked all nice and neat. Okay, guys, I just finished raking everything over there. Jim told me to leave it alone. He said he's going to take his tractor over there and rake the blade. But I was trying to rake and make sure I got every little piece up. So, turned into quite a large area to grind. But that was a large root system, so. Now Hunter's got that trailer and the stump grinder and he's off to that church doing that job. I'm gonna finish loading everything up right here and I'm gonna go back down there and see what all Drew has got left to do. And I'm sure we're getting ready to have to take that dump trailer to the dump because I'm sure that thing's probably full by now. Jim, I'm gonna head back down there and see what Drew's up to. Tennessee Technicians. Visit us online at clevelandtnstumpgrinding.com, baby. So we're down here now where Drew's been working, and he's got that cleared off all the way starting back there at that corner. All the way over to here. I'll flip it around and show you how full he's got that trailer. we got to take it to the dump real quick. I'll give you guys all a little better shot of this bank. If you guys look at a video I did a little over a week ago, this was all one big mess all the way down the entire side of this. Still got to come back and load up that bit right there. But he's gotten all that in this trailer so far. It is definitely completely full, but loving this sure track dump trailer. I mean, look how much he's got in there. I mean, literally nearly all of that all the way down. So that's great. Let's get this stuff hauled off and uh, we'll talk to you soon. So guys, we're just now coming back from the dump. Drew's getting the Vermeer CTX 100 started up, getting ready to get the rest of this stuff picked up. I'm gonna show you this new grapple attachment that we got right there, and that thing is awesome. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Look how the bucket's got that curved cut out right there. So just watch how he can slide right up into these trees. We'll try to get some action shots of this, so check this out. Stop rolling, tree. There we go. 
That is a handy dandy attachment right there. Do what? Oh yeah, he, Jim did ask us to save a couple of those nicer pieces right there that they were going to use to start some fires with. So we're going to save him a couple of those. I forgot, Drew just reminded me. So just really want to show you guys this attachment right here and we'll get a couple more shots of it in action here in just a minute whenever Drew gets over there right into the heart of all that mess. Stay with us. It's probably about a six to seven foot long section of tree right there. Effortlessly. Not even putting a single strain on that machine at all. So if any of my friends and customers watching or needing any uh, tree cleanup done, you guys have had a tree fall in your house or in your yard, whatever you need, need a bunch of stuff picked up, we got the attachment for it now, guys. So give us a shout, clevelandtnstumpgrinding.com. Or as always, hit me up on my cell, 423-503-503. 0512. Take a look at all this right here. We'll have all this going shortly. And I'll give you one more, somewhat of a before shot here of this pond side before he gets it all cleaned up. Stay tuned. God, look at that wad he just got. Man. Drew says his technique is to put all the smaller stuff in first and then put all the heavier stuff on top of that to compact it down. That way we can hold more and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get the rest of this all in one go and that'll be the final trip to the dump that I have to make. That first dump bill a minute ago was almost $28, so we'll see what this next one is. Watch this thing dump it right into the sure track here. Check this out. Yes, yes, yes. Really, really happy with that attachment. Thank you very much, Justin Watson from Vermeer Heartland. Really appreciate that attachment. For all my pond building buddies, that attachment right there is what I traded that boulder grapple attachment for. I ended up having no use for that boulder grapple attachment that I bought originally. Justin kept his word and let me trade that out evenly for that one. And I was very appreciative of that. So thank you, Justin. Stay tuned, guys. Big boss man there told me to go ahead and get the chainsaw ready. That way, whatever limbs are hanging off, we don't have to give it much thought. And I'll just knock them off real quick with this Echo chainsaw. Give me a second to get this bad boy prepped. And look at that bad boy sitting there camming off. I'm gonna start taking this thing to car shows just to let people hear it run. This is the new Echo CS600P. This thing will go through trees like a hot knife through butter, baby. Stay tuned. So Jim, not only did we leave you some firewood, went ahead and cut it up for you, man. I'll stack it up real neat for you in a little pile right here. So whenever you guys wanna burn it, it'll be right here waiting on you. Let me get to stacking. And you see folks, it's the little things. Jim didn't ask me to cut this up for him. Jim didn't ask me to stack this for him. All Jim said was, hey, my neighbor and I would like to have a few of the larger trees set aside so we can use them for firewood. So we didn't just set them aside. We didn't just cut them up. We didn't stack them for him. So not that big of a deal, but like I always tell you guys, give me a shout at 423 503 0512 
And you too will find out why so many people choose to do business with me. <laughs> Always remember, it's the little things. We've got a big log in it right now. And guys, check it out. I'm not so sure it's all going to fit on this second trip or not. It's almost 1.30 right now. I need to be out of Cleveland between 2 and 3. Definitely doesn't look like that's going to happen. I've got about a 7 hour drive ahead of me. Someplace in Alabama. Called Spanish Ford, Alabama. Getting ready to go build a an aquascape ecosystem pond for a big Utah, uh, Utah, excuse me, a big YouTube star, Bama Bass. He's got some huge bass that he's kept in a 300 gallon tank for quite some time. They have outgrown that 300 gallon tank as you might have imagined. Greg Whitstock, Ed Ballou, some other certified aquascape contractors and myself, we're going to totally transform his backyard and have him another aquascape pond and have another YouTuber online supporting our brand. So stay tuned guys, you guys will get to see all that project tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to get back over here and help Drew and see if we can get the last little bit of these limbs loaded onto this trailer so that hopefully I don't have to go to the dump and come all the way back and do it all over one more time. Stay tuned. Jim, hey man, went ahead and raked all this all the way down. I pull it all into a line, all these leaves and small sticks. Drew got all those little bee twigs, pushed right on there to the wood line. All that stuff will rot, man, in no time. Look at this. Look how slick that is. Hope I don't fall walking backwards, but it's like that all the way down. There you go, it's a good shot. I'll flip it around in a minute before we pull out. Woo! Ready to get out of this heat. And that's going to be it uh, for this tree cleanup, guys. Just got the machine loaded up. Trailer's all lashed up. Check, check, check. I'm gonna flip the camera around real fast, give you guys a final view of it all before we head out. And there you go, Jim. From corner to corner, all of it's been raked. A little bit ago before we pulled out, I went through here with that red metal rake that I was using up there where I did all the stump grinding for you a little bit ago and raked every bit of that. There might be some very small twigs left. Got you two piles of firewood. Got you a large stack here. Got you a starter stack over there. I've got all the pictures of your pond to discuss with Greg and Ed tonight and tomorrow once I see them. I got your dimensions in the text message that you just sent me. So Ed Ballou, Greg Whitstock, gonna ask you a few pointers on what you might suggest for my buddy Jim to do to help out his natural earth bottom pond here. And there you go, Jim. Just walk right down through here, just give you a, a quick shot of it all. And there you go. Appreciate you letting us do the work, Jim. Thanks for contacting me. And uh, who knows? I look forward to doing more stuff for you in the future. Talk to all you guys soon. I've got to get on the road. I wanted to be gone about two hours ago. Like I said, I got about a seven hour drive ahead of me. So you guys stay tuned and we'll talk to you all tomorrow with some really cool pond stuff.